Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. Hey y'all, today I am working on this 30 ounce skinny tumbler and um, I have already sanded it with wet sandpaper very very fine and then washed it down with dawn dish liquid soap then did my base coat of spray paint and then did the tacket method with uh, the tacket over and over and my glitter and then put my first layer of epoxy onto the tumbler and let that cure and it's ready now for me to add my um, tattoo that I'm going to be doing. I did not video the first part because um, that is just kind of repetitious work and I do have videos that I will link in that shows you how to do that but I'll show you the supplies that I use. This video is mainly about that tattoo and about the glow in the dark glitter. So for my base coat after I sanded it I used the Rust-Oleum White Blossom and gave it a really good coating of the white spray paint. Then after that dried, I used this Eileen's Tacket over and over, and all I did was brushed it full strength directly on my cup, and then dipped my paintbrush into some water and then just smoothed it out so that there wouldn't be any, be any lines. And then I sprinkled the glow-in-the-dark glitter and just layered it on there really heavily and um, then rubbed that into the tacket so that it would adhere to the uh, tumbler itself and then when I put my first layer of epoxy on I added uh, some more of the glow-in-the-dark glitter to that and I used the faux rizzle uh, epoxy so I got this uh, temporary dragon tattoo off of Amazon and it came in a package of about eight I believe it was and I want to use this one on here I think it will look so cool with that glow in the dark um, aspect uh, after I get it on here and the first thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm going to trim all the excess um, from around the tattoo itself. And I'm going to get as close as I can to the design. I have found it is so much easier when you have your decal, whether it's vinyl, temporary tattoo, water slide, whatever, trimmed closely. And then afterwards I have my bottle of water ready that we will uh, soak the backside of the carrier paper and then that will release the tattoo and uh, let it adhere to the uh, tumbler itself. So this first part of trimming down the tattoo, I'm going to go a little slow and just kind of let you see how close that I do trim it down. Um, I've tried it several different ways and I have found this to be by far the best for me. You may have um, other preferences of how you do it yourself, but for me I need as little excess as possible. And you can see how close that I'm getting to the design. I'm leaving very very little left over. So now we're going to speed it up. I don't actually cut this fast. I would be really something if I could. <laughs> but anywhere where the design actually goes in, uh, like around that tail, I go right in and follow that curve so that there is uh, no excess and it lays down nicely. Okay, we have it trimmed and um, all these tattoos come with a film over the front of the tattoo 
and um, once you're ready to put it down you just remove that thin layer of film and remember that once you really remove that film the tattoo itself is very sticky and you want to be careful how you handle it also remember that when you are ready to put this onto your tumbler when you go to put it down if it touches that tumbler that's where it's at that's where it's staying you can't readjust it you can't move it um, you'll tear your tear up your tattoo if you do because this is very uh, delicate until you get it onto that cup so I'm just going to determine where I want to put it and then once I have it kind of lined up where I want it I'm going to let it touch the tumbler and then that is where it will stay and I'll start in the center and make sure that I push it down and let it make contact with the tumbler and then work out from the center out to the edges now with a um, skinny where the uh, tumbler is one size all the way down it doesn't have that curve like the 20 and 30 ounce modern curve tumblers do this is a breeze to put this um, tattoo on here with the curved ones it is a little bit more challenging but it is still doable and I do have another video that I did use one of the modern curve uh, tumblers for that so now I have it on here and I'm just going to saturate the back side of the carrier paper with water and once it gets to the point that it is totally saturated it will um, allow you to remove the carrier paper and slide it away from the uh, tattoo and the tattoo will be adhered to your tumbler and I did put a cloth underneath to catch the water because I am using quite a bit otherwise I would have a big water puddle underneath my tumbler and I just test it every now and then to see if it's moving the top of it is just about ready I'm gonna saturate the bottom of it a little bit more and then just keep testing to see if it moves I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure because you could tear the tattoo because they are still delicate gonna saturate that and then you can feel, see how it's starting to slide and then you just gently slide it away from your tattoo and then it's gonna pull right off just like that is that not cool I so love these temporary tattoos they are absolutely wonderful although I've heard that the water slide and the temper ta temporary tattoo are similar um, in the paper that they use uh, I have to tell you these temporary tattoos are way easier to apply to your cup so next uh, I'm going to decide on a design for the back before I put my top layer of resin on it but I do want to show you how this is going to um, glow in the dark with that glow in the dark glitter I wasn't sure how it was going to work under the resin um, but it worked great and you actually can see uh, the glitter underneath the um, tattoo so it is absolutely gorgeous stay tuned for the pictures
of the glow-in-the-dark part. Those colors are so vibrant against that white background. But here it is, glow in the dark. Is that not awesome? <laughs> and that's not paint or anything like that. That's just the glitter that, uh, that I got from Hobby Lobby. So it worked out really, really well. And I'm going to give you some close-ups of the tattoo itself. And then I want to show you an element that I'm thinking about adding when I do the top layer of resin. So you can see the glitter beneath the um, tattoo. And it's just, it's, it's really gorgeous. And I love it, love it, love it. I hope... Um, I hope I've inspired someone. Hope you've enjoyed this. So here is the element that I'm thinking about doing. I have added some little tiny crystals on the eyeballs and it's called Volcano and it is from the Schwa I can't even say that. That's the name of the crystals, <laughs> but it's the Volcano color. So I think that's going to look really, really cool when I, when I add the resin. I will wait till it's partially cured and then put them into the resin. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like and share. You make my channel grow when you do that. And I'm so appreciative to that. Uh, everything I use will be listed below. Uh, also, I am Amazon affiliate, so if you need anything from Amazon, if you follow the link that is provided below and just search for whatever item it is, then um, I do get credit for that, and it does help me continue to bring you uh, how-to videos and, and uh, give you tips and tricks on how I do things. And I want to let you know that I do appreciate that as well. So subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll get notified when I upload future videos. And I hope to see you in my next Creative Escapade. Bye-bye for now, and Happy New Year!